Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCAC ICT Paper 2 Practical Presentations for Specimen 2023. The document production and database task has already been done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So we are going to do task 4 presentation. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of six slides using the file sp 2 avowrtf So these are the files required. Let's open PowerPoint. So we need to import the file sp 2 about. So click on blank presentation. Then click on new slide, go for slides from outline. Select the folder, you have to select the file sp2 about. Insert so that the text will be inserted as slides. There will be a blank slide here, you can delete that. Next. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. So you can see all the slides have a title and bulleted list. Use a master slide to display only the following features. So let's click on view, slide master. To set the master slide, always you have to go to the topmost slide, select this slide, automatic slide numbers on the top right. So there are some built in headers and footers here, you, we can just remove them and we will add according to the question. So we have to insert slide numbers on the top right, so insert a text box top right you can add a text box then go to insert slide number so the slide number is added here your name center number and candidate number there is no position given for it so let's add it here candidate number and center number. Make sure that master slide items appear in the same position on every slide. No items overlap on any slide. So the master slide is done. You can close it. Go to view, normal. So you can see the slide number here and the candidate details here. Next format slide 1 with the title slide layout with the title and subtitle text centered in the middle of the slide. So right click on slide 1, go to layout, you can select title slide. So we got a title and subtitle centered in the middle. On the slide with the title marketing, demote the four bulleted items after the text dedicated marketing manager. So the marketing slide is slide 6. Now we have to demote the points after dedicated marketing manager, the four points. So select the four points, now on home in order to demote you can just move it like this so that it is demoted and we need to set the bullets as a hyphen. So select the bullets, hyphen is not shown here, go for bullets and numbering. Customize. You 
you can add a hyphen here give ok next use the data in the file sp2sales.csv to create a vertical bar chart to compare the sales of yachts so let's open sp2 sales to compare the sales of yachts by size for only the year 2021 so we need the data for all sizes for the year 2021 so select the data for 2021 don't select the total sales and also the length here so these are the this is the data to be selected now we have to create a vertical bar chart so insert vertical bar chart display with labels the yacht lengths on the category axis and the number sold on the value axis so you can see uh, the text here on the category axis and the uh, numbers on the value axis now label the chart as follows chart title super yacht sales 2021 so you can click here chart title the value axis must be number sold and category axis must be length meters so you can click here give access titles this is length meters and number sold value access must be number sold next display only the values as data labels above each bar do not display a legend legend is not displayed here we need to show the values on each bar so select the bars just click on the bars it will be selected go to data labels select data labels it will be shown on the top of each bar all these options can be also found on the design layout of the chart here all the options are shown here if you are using a previous version it will be shown on the layout tab of the graph it will be shown on the menu bar format the value axis scale to display a minimum value of 0 a maximum value of 120 and increments of 15 so select the value axis right click format axis so minimum is 0 maximum is 120 and increments of 15 so increments now it's 20 you have to set it to 15 Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title sales. 
So let's copy the chart. So it should be placed on the left side. So let's resize this. Now paste the chart here. Resize the chart. Make sure no weirds are split. All data and labels are fully visible. The chart and its content do not overlap any slide items. So when you resize this, you have to make sure no words are split. Next on the slide with the title, Our Services, format the text your charters so that when clicked it goes to the slide with the title, Sales. Take screenshot evidence to show that the text links to the correct slide. Place this in your evidence document. So let's go to the slide which has the word your charters that is on our services. It should link to the chart with the title sales. So our services is here. The word your charters. So select the word. Right click. Hyperlink. So you can see the slides here. You can select place in this document because the link is in the same document. So place in this document. So we need to link it to the slide with the title sales. So select sales here. So this is the hyperlink. We need to take a screenshot. So take a screenshot of this window and place this in your evidence document for step 34. give OK. So now you can see a hyperlink is created. The hyperlink will work in the presentation mode. You can check. Click on your charters. It is going to the slide sales. Next save the presentation. Print all the slides as handouts with two slides to the page, each slide filling half the page. So we need to print this as handouts with two slides per page. So go to File, Print. We have to choose the option from here. You can see now it is full page slides. Select this and select two slides per page so that two slides will fit on the page. You have to make sure you write your candidate details in the header or footer for the requirement of the exam. So click on edit header and footer. Select header. Give your name, center number and candidate number. So that the name will be displayed here. and the evidence document has to be printed. So this is the end of the presentation task. The document production and database are also uploaded. You can find the links in the description. Thank you for now.